the middle of September and we are back in Northern Ontario, small game hunting for grouse and waterfowl. Got up north. Can't drive our truck back, it's too narrow. I don't want to scratch it up, so we hooked the trail on the quad and we got back into this nice clearing. It's away from the road, it's very secluded, and it's wilderness. We are in the bush. Time to set up camp. Not long after camp was set up, we had a surprise visitor. Evening set in quick. We enjoyed a couple steaks cooked over the fire and hit the sack. Just like the battery issue. You. <laughs> Yeah. So. We fill up our tumblers and get ready to head out for the morning. Well, we got breakfast and coffee out of the way and we're going to go try and flush up some gross. It's a nice uh, sunrise this morning. That's what we got to camp with. Jordan sharpens his water fouling skills in hopes of dropping a duck or two. Here we go. Alright, let's see if we can flush one up. Seen one grouse up there. Looks like he might have hit it. Uh, seems like uh, fall is going to arrive a little later this year than last year because we were here this time last year and there was uh, a lot more colors the reds and yellows, the maples and oak trees, but there's some mostly just reds right now. Reds and purples, squirrels. Need a dog. 
George jumped a duck on this pond. <laughs> Dropped it in the water, so we had to get out there to retrieve it. Well, I guess you do what you got to do. <laughs> He's a little woody. Can't see the screen at all. I'm just out uh, doing some scavenging, looking for some. Uh, just collecting some birch bark, so we got some readily available to get fires going. It's never, uh, never a problem finding that. Lots of birch bark around. A lot of rocks turned over and moss pulled over. And uh, the bears are rolling them over looking for uh, uh, grubs and whatnot. And uh, we got this morning, we had our coffee and breakfast and we we jumped on the quad and went down uh, to do some grouse hunting. And uh, we weren't down the road just a few minutes and there was a black bear stood up right off the side of the road, about 15 yards right beside us. Uh, couldn't get a shot of it at all, but uh, it was uh, pretty amazing just watching those things up close like that. So back to camp chores. After a long day in the hot sun, it was nice to kick back with a campfire as the night air cooled down. View from the fabulous Thunderbox. Chef Jordan getting the breakfast ready. We had a chilly morning, never had the wood stove going and <coughs> some pretty chilly temps overnight. So we got us a morning campfire to warm up and the sun's coming up now. Well, this is our <coughs> second morning waking up at camp here and it was a chilly night in the tent, tell you that. Never had enough wood ready to get the wood stove going in there. We didn't bother. It was warm enough sleeping. It's just getting out of the sleeping bag was pretty chilly. Yeah. Yes, he got him. Oh no, it's a hen. Is it? Yep. Taking the quad back to logging roads and kind of just staying in the bush just because the sun's so blistering hot still. It's actually nicer to be in the woods than it is out in the open right now. I'm gonna stay out here till around supper time and head back to camp and uh, we got a couple ducks and a grouse to cook up. So Jordo's just coming down to pick me up now. I'm just checking out this burn site. This was burned probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago kind of thing. Lots of dead trees up here. A few mushrooms. Haven't been able to identify anything up here yet, but just checking it out. Staying cool.
Bob, your uncle. George just finished cleaning some ducks and a grouse. Yeah. We're gonna have a nice fresh meal tonight. It's gonna be good, finally. I'm just fashioning up a nice tarp cover here because we need shade. It's the hottest hunt ever. <laughs> Suntan hunt here. Freeze your yin yang off at night. So that be the biggest change in temperature. The morning tonight. It's been really extreme, I find, this year. I mean, I'm trying to think last year, while well, we were running the wood stove anyway. Nice little add-on, that actually looks pretty decent. Oh yeah. Uniform. I mean, it's still, there's some shade, not a lot, but we need this shade right here. Yeah, look, <laughs> look how much green sun it gets in everywhere. Chasing shade, just to keep our coolers over there in the shade all the time. I think we're winning though.